Here, uh, this is the Armadillo uh, Armadillo tank. Well, actually, Armadillo races, Evan. Races? Yes, we're going to be, during the course of the day today, inviting the guests in, put on a pair of gloves, and race these armadillos from one set of speed bumps to the other for fabulous prizes. That sounds like uh, quite a race. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it does help to have a couple of beers first. Oh, is that right? It does. It does. <laughs> uh, uh, how long have you been uh, working with uh, these creatures for? Well, in the middle 80s, we, we started uh, working with the animals, as and, and when people come to Texas, they want that twist, as you can see by having a live longhorn in the ballroom right yeah. behind us. They, uh, they want a little twist, a little taste of Texas, and it doesn't get much more Texas than armadillos. So armadillos are native to Texas? Actually, they were in the 1830s. They're considered native, yes, but they're expanding range faster than any mammal in the history of the world. So they're in Illinois now. They're uh, in there, go, there goes the neighborhood. Exactly. They're coming to Toronto soon. So <laughs> Canadian armadillos. Exactly. Uh, they look no like... Green uh, cards. <laughs> no green cards. <laughs> well, that's all right. They're going to set up. They're going to build a fence anyway. <laughs> uh, they, 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 I mean, no offense, but they look like uh, like like mice in body armor. Well, that's an interesting observation there, Evan. But uh, they're you know, sort of armored pigs. Armored pigs. Yeah, they're related to ant eaters and sloths, and they eat bugs and grubs and worms, and uh, so they uh, burrow and dig with long nails. Hey, Brooke, grab an armadillo for me. Flip it on. We'll show Evan here. We'll, we'll, we'll get Brooke to bring you over one. Okay. All of these animals, they're our number one roadkill in the south. Is that right? Yeah. And there you go. Hey, what's this guy's name? This is H. Ross Burrow. H. Ross Burrow. Yes, yeah, named after Ross Burrow, of course. And uh, we have, you're, you're probably not going to get a whole lot of talk out of him there, Evan. But, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, interesting animal. Go ahead, touch him. Touch him? Yeah, it's, it's Ooh. a real Oh. Oh, I don't think so. Builder, right? We're not. Uh... <laughs> He's cool. <laughs> Is he cool? Is that right? Okay. Oh. It's like uh, leather almost. It is. It is. That's, that's, and if you run your hand backwards against the grain right there, you can feel there's hair on his back. Oh, yeah. So he's a mammal. They always have four identically sexed quadruplets when they have babies. Four every time. Every time. So, and they're curing leprosy worldwide, too. Really? Yeah, their body temperature is very closely aligned to ours. And they, uh, so they use them in leprosy research, and it's not a death sentence anymore to have leprosy. The, the nails are very long. They're uh, a digging animal. They they live 15 feet underground. So you can set them down, Brooks. <laughs> hey, New Yorker. Good. This is New Yorker. Good for you, man. This is good for you. <laughs> might have well, this is cool. Uh, yeah. Well, y'all have to come back and uh, interview one of the race uh, participants over here. When we get a few more folks in the room, listen for a big siren. And when the siren comes, come on over and you can interview some of the participants in the race. Okay. It's uh, a unique sport, and like I said, a couple of beers usually helps. Okay, well, we'll certainly be back for that. Sparky, right, thanks, thanks a lot. A lot Evan. Okay.